What's up guys, McFade here, and the Tarkov wipe is just around the corner, so I wanted to bring you guys a video today that talks about the things that helped me the last wipe. Uh, just some resources you guys can use that are on the internet that'll help you be more efficient as you're leveling and questing through this next wipe in Tarkov. So let's check these websites out. All the links will be below in the description. The number one website that helped me last wipe was TarkovTracker.io. I saw Dr. Lupo using this and I'd never seen this site before, but essentially you log in, you create your profile and you can fill out quests, hide out just different things through the game as you complete them. The one bad side to Tarkov Tracker is that you have to fill everything in manually. There's no syncing up with the game to see exactly where you're at. But keep that in mind as you go. The key things that Tarkov Tracker brings to it that are super helpful as you go through the wipe is the needed items tab. This essentially pulls everything from all the tasks in the game and tells you what you need. Um, it's going to list some non-kappa quests right at the top here. I'm not sure why it does that, but you get down. This is the first couple quests in the game. As you find these items and you store them in your hideout until you get to these tasks, you can just click on these you know, plus and minus and it adds it. Uh, so say you found two Amelia Rai croutons. You don't need them anymore. It blues it out. It says, okay, you're done with those. You know, anything else on here, it helps you keep track of what you need as you go. And then as you complete the quest, it'll clear this out. You can also access the items you need to build your hideout. Uh, workbench level one, one of the first things you unlock, uh, you need two bolts, two screw nuts, and you click those as you go. So this is just a great resource to, to look at things that you need as you're questing through Tarkov, as you're looking for items. Okay, what items do I need to early on. This is why I like Tarkov Tracker. The second site that helped me a lot last wipe I found through United We Stand Gaming. It lists all the keys within the game. Now keys are very important early on in Tarkov, right? You got a lot of tasks that are locked behind locked doors. Uh, they have a recommended key list once you get past a lot of stuff, the stuff you want to carry like in a sick case or in a documents case, whatever you guys carry in your in your pouch. And if you scroll down, the website goes into detail which each key is, what's behind it, uh, whether it's a quest key, a loot key, if it's something you want to hang on to type key, just everything in general. That's why I like to use this site. The third website I used last wipe to help me out early on was the ammo chart for Tarkov. Uh, they renamed a lot of the ammos I think last wipe and I was like, okay, what does this one do? What does that one do? What ammo should I be looking for, right? Well, Odelio.com has an article that discusses all the ammos in detail. They've got it broken down into different uh, different categories here and it lists what the penetration power, damage value, all the goodies on here. So if you're looking to figure out which ammo you need for each gun and should I use BS, BT, BP, whatever it may be. This site was super helpful for me, so check it out. Another good thing to have early wipe is a good map. And if you're new to Tarkov, nothing is closer to you than a good map. Where do I find things? Where do I extract from? Where can other PMC spawn? Where are the bosses located? A good map can tell you all of these things. Now, mapgenie.io brought Tarkov maps into it, I think last year sometime. Uh, I noticed it this past wipe, so I've been using this more frequently. So when you open up the customs map, it pops up and you see there's so many icons on the on the, on the the screen here. Um, you can click on the, the subcategory on the left here to kind of remove all this stuff, and then you can add what you want. The base map shows all the extract locations and the named locations on the map. You can click ammo boxes, jackets if you're looking for those, and we can zoom way into the dorm rooms and see, okay, dorm room 220 has a jacket. The best thing you can use Map Genie for as a new player is spawn locations of other PMCs. Uh, it, it, you can click this on and it'll show you uh, these are all PMC spawns so if you spawn in the back of trailer park you know there's a bunch of spawns around you or if you spawn sniper roadblock you've got a good head start to the dorm rooms just things of that nature learning where other players are on the map this is a good resource this is what I use to try and learn my way around the maps especially early raid okay where could other PMCs be this was a huge help for me so I hope it helps you guys as well We've got one more site to cover, and this kind of has a little bit of everything. That site is the escapefromtarkov.fandom.com wiki. You could find pretty much everything you want to know about the game on this website. It's got a searchable bar that you can find quests and items and where they can be found and things of that nature. This is kind of like the Tarkov Bible. For example, one of the early tasks that you get is from proper called checking. We got to find the bronze pocket watch. If you're played Tarkov, everybody knows the bronze pocket watch task, but how do you get the bronze pocket watch? Well, 
This will tell you. If you scroll down to the guide section, it talks in detail where you can find the items you need for your task and how to complete the task. You need a machinery key for this, and if you scroll down, it says, Hey, head into the map customs. The machinery key is required to access the bronze pocket watch. If you do not have it yet, head to room 205. There you can find it in this jacket. It's a, I think it's an automatic 100% spawn in this brown jacket. Um, just little things like this. This website has so many good resources on it. I would highly advise using it if you haven't yet and at least checking it out. But there you have it, folks. Those are the five websites I used last week. told me to become more efficient in Tarkov and save myself a lot of time. Now, patch 0.12.12 is releasing probably Sunday with Lighthouse, uh, Inertia, VoIP, all sorts of goodies. I'm excited. This is a huge step forward for the game. Let's see what this brings. And if you enjoyed this video and it helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. We're, we're on the goal for a thousand subs. We've got a little ways to go yet. If there are some resources that you guys use for Escape from Tarkov that I didn't list here, feel free to put those in the comments and help the rest of us out. Uh, Tarkov's a complicated game. So we'll see you guys out there with the new patch and have some fun. Peace.